Hey folks, so everybody's been asking, uh, we get quite a few requests, how do you build a vegetable garden that recycles and reuses the same water over and over again? <coughs> well, you gotta start out with a planter. It could be a wood planter, or in this case, this is what they call an Ollie planter, O-L-L-E. <coughs> kind of fashionable, has color, and it kind of has these swells in it. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take pond liner, the same kind of pond liner, we use a fish safe pond liner, uh, EPDM 45 millimeter liner. We're gonna line this thing. We're gonna put liner down in this hole over here. And then we're going to put this 18 inch corrugated pipe, which is gonna house our pumps. And we'll do another video and tell you what type of pumps we like using. This is the top. Uh, you get the black pipe. Uh, we get it from our irrigation distributor called uh, Aquaflow Supply in Torrance, California get these on the internet and we drilled holes in here because we want water to go in so the pumps can suck it up and push it back out and then over here we have a um, eco ring tank and this is basically it's like a milk crate but it's all enclosed and there's gonna be a fountain that sits on it we don't want, want the water to stink we want it aerated but mostly we want it for the pollinators and so you can see all this is gonna start coming to life, but if you want to save water and grow your own veggies in soil, very important to, um, to note that soil gives you the most nutritional dense food. It's not like hydroponics or aeroponics, which, all, you know, if you put in there uh, what the plant needs, but it, it may not be as nutritionally dense because it doesn't have the soil food web feeding it. So if you want those really amazing strawberries, you gotta grow in soil. Mike with Enviroscape uh, LA signing off. When you think sustainability and permaculture and recycling water, think Enviroscape LA.